Hello my friends, welcome to my uh, workshop, welcome to my channel. My name is Sebastian Goya and I'm a spray painter. This painting has been inspired by the old Japanese ink artwork. I really love this art for his simplicity and minimalism. I started with uh, the red sun. Uh, it's the only part of the composition that we have color. It's, I love this contract of the red with the black and white and it's perfect for this kind of uh, Japanese style composition. Uh, what's important is when I cover after the sun, I cover all the canvas with white for have like a, a thin layer of painting that is one of these smoother for past the newspaper with the black painting. Like you see, I'm using uh, the technique where I don't apply the color directly with the sprite on the canvas, but I apply it on the newspaper and then I use the newspaper and my fingers to paint the mountains and stones and boulders in this case. I love the simplicity and the minimalism of this uh, a Japanese ink style of painting. Uh, I try to let the most of the background empty that is possible, not even uh, from the bottom. It's like a nice land of color in the middle of the composition. If the, the stones uh, are not the way I want at the beginning, I can continue to apply and to modify them until I'm happy with the result. <laughs> For make the characters of this painting, I used to I start doing the silhouette in black and filling it. It's in a position of uh, relaxation. It's not uh, uh, on the wall. It's kind of in a peaceful moment, surrounded by nature. I will uh, finish the, the silhouette and then I put some clear for get wet the painting underneath. I can use my palette knife to scratch the painting and do the light that create the volume on my character. This character is a Ronin, a samurai without a master. Running were typically high skilled and trained in the art of war, but their status as masterless warriors mean they often struggle to make a living and find a place in society. Some running become mercenaries, bodyguards or teachers, while others turn into crime or become drifters. I will paint two trees, one big one near the main character. I always uh, paint f first the silhouette of the tree with my cardboard and after I will use my palette knife to scratch the painting out and get all this light that wanna create volume. Then I paint a smaller tree in the background for create a little more depth in the composition. I use the, like always, a, a piece of newspaper crumblet uh, to do a very uh, smash ball that I use the stamping for create the foliage of the tree. For uh, finish the stones in the in the composition, I will use a cardboard that I cut it in the way I want for create uh, the shape of the stone. I want to put some mist uh, in between the different layer of stone for add to the depth that I want to give to this painting, and it's more interesting.
I finish the tail of the stone with the palette knife. I add two or three birds in white in this case for contrast with the red sun. And uh, finish some fire for dry and make all this shine and the painting is done. I hope that you like uh, this painting. I love the, this Japanese style. I, I'm doing a lot. And uh, this, I hope that you have fun with my painting. Uh, if you like, please subscribe and uh, see you next painting. Thanks.